All right, welcome. I'm going to go over yesterday's trade, October 30th, 2024. And this is the trade that I basically took. And I'll run it down like always. So we got session open. We got Tokyo open, 10 o'clock volume coming in. And this is the area where I trade. I put my, I guess, area of interest right here. And then... I was just looking for this area right here specifically all this volume in this area so this is what i i'm going to go over what i did and what i should have done and what happened so my thought process behind this is okay it's just kind of sorting itself out it broke towards the upside so it was a break of structure that was good i just needed confirmation and then confirmation and i got in right there and then my stop loss was around this area right here, the 2775 area. I think I did 2775.5 just so I can round it out. And so I guess it, I should just move it down like right there. It was right there. It was literally right there. So what happened was it went down. It went close to stop loss, but then it went it reversed all the way back up. And right here. Literally right here, I was thinking, hmm, I should close. I was up a lot. Uh, I instead didn't because I was greedy. I was like, you know what? What's two points? You know, it's going to go up two points. Is it not? You know, or like from here, I started watching price here. It's going to go back up, you know, four points. Why not? That was my thought process. It basically, it never, it never got up there ever this 91.6 area and that's really unfortunate but the correct thing that i did was okay it's reversing like mad so i cut my losses i didn't cut my losses i basically broke even i got out around this area right here basically almost to where i entered and that's good now let's go over what i what would have happened i guess if i had kept the trade open no matter what it would have hit stop loss, unfortunately. I could have got out, you know, here, got some profit, maybe got a payout. But you never know because I didn't know what the market was going to do. I thought it was just going to go straight down, which it technically did. It would have hit my stop loss, but it was just a break even. And then what I could have done if I, you know, based off hindsight to learn for the future, what I could have done is... Since it's all blue right here and all red right here, I could have waited for a retracement. Yes, it changed character right here, but the overall structure is going to the upside. So I could have waited for a retracement, which is what I should have done. And then the trade would have been, okay, here we got a blue candle, here we got another blue, and then here we got confirmation displacement, right? So I guess this is technically manipulation, if you think about it. It didn't cross this fair value gap. And then it confirmed that it was going to go basically to the upside. So what I could have done is keep my stop loss the same. Like ignore this, right? Keep my stop loss the same. And then do the same same stop loss to 775.5. And then obviously a 1 to 2. Always a 1 to 2 or 2.5. Either way, a 1 to 2 or a 1 to 2.5 would have been annihilated. It would have, t it would have been TP. But that's not what happened. What happened was this trade, right? But now we know for the future, if it's just going straight up, if there's no what I like to call peanut butter structure, then a uh, peanut butter plus confirmation, then don't trade, basically, essentially. That's what that means. But overall, not bad. I could have taken profit. I didn't, but I avoided the worst case scenario, which is this, which is stop loss, right? So overall... Decent trade, decent mental, right? So that's all that matters. That's the gist of the trade. See you guys tomorrow. Maybe.